For several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's mines, Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. out in the city, but I'll explain. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first. Through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Seeing this place, and these people, I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? The Dust District. I've read about the winds coming through the cleft in Shindere Peak. How the city uses it for windmills and mining operations. Paolo's not that old, but there's so much living written into the lines of his face. The Vice Overseer for Karnaka, Liam Byrne. Aramis Stilton's home looks more like a bunker than a mansion. With Ashworth eliminated, that should hamper Delilah's plans.
my mind is finally clearing. Now I can return to my work here, helping those who need it the most. And what can I say about what you've done for me? Saved me from madness and worse, from giving in to a life of sadistic brutality. How could I ever repay you for that? Given who you are and what you're in Karnaka to do, I can only say good luck. The city, the country, the empire, everyone is counting on you. I'll send something special for you, by way of courier. I hope it helps. into the dust district. Nobody lives there unless they don't have a choice. And people like Emily don't even visit. According to Sokolov, she'll be trying to get into Aramis Stilton's house. <laughs> Not easy. I've tried. Stilton was a friend. Even as a mine owner, he was a good man who came up from working people and never forgot it. I went looking for him the night he disappeared. But the house was swarming with the Grand Guard. I showed them what I was worth, but it cost me. I'll live to see that score settled. 